They could have a blood on the snow. They do have snow land, right? Deadly dispute. Okay. So we get that with our resurrector. I'll allow it, right? That's good. Hello. Good game. Welcome back, ghouls and goblins. I hope you're having a magical day. Thank you so much for taking the time to support the channel. Back with another Magic the Gathering Arena standard best of one deck. This is Orzhov, black and white, mid-range tokens, utilizing some of the uh, coolest cards you've never seen played, which is really cool, combined with some cards that are really in most decks. Uh, you know, you gotta keep that power level up there. In today's video, we'll break down the deck list, talk about the strategies, the synergies, then showcase and demonstrate all of this within the gameplay footage, wrapping up with our final thoughts, deck review, and the newest segment, card of the day. Buckle up, I hope you guys enjoy. Make sure to like the video to support me as a creator. Subscribe to the channel if you're interested in seeing more decks like this show up on your YouTube feed, and let's take a look at Orzhov Midrange Tokens Cleave. So, we're calling it the cleave because, you know, I often joke uh, as I make a fool of myself almost every single video for like 2,000 videos now, nearly, that, uh, you know, that reading level OP. So, what I always tell people is that I'm actually making these decks not off of really any mathematics, any synergies, other than the pictures. I like to match up the pictures, right? That's kind of what your boy's doing. And if you look at the Meat Hook Massacre, in the background, our boy has a massive cleave in hand, which is really cool. And this is a fantastic card. And uh, combining this with Giza Glorious Resurrector for four, she is also holding a massive cleave in her uh, left hand there, which is really cool. So definitely we're looking to cleave up some tokens and, uh, you know, whether, uh, well, creatures in general, we will have tokens. Uh, our opponent hopefully has non-tokens because we're looking to take those as our own, which is really cool and then get further value from this. So uh, all jokes aside, right? You know, I can read a little bit. If we do break down these two cards, we can talk about some of the more in-depth uh, synergies held within. So if a creature an opponent controls would die, exile it instead. It goes underneath of the Resurrector. So she needs to survive. And at the beginning of your upkeep, put all creature cards exiled with her into the battlefield under our control, they gain decay. This is absolutely glorious with the meat hook massacre right so you know she is out on turn four maybe turn three if we ramp into it on the following turn our opponent's got you know two three creatures in play we meat hook minus three of course we cannot kill the resurrector uh hopefully we wipe out our opponent's entire board state uh, we get multiple kills in one turn all exiled with the resurrector our opponent um has their turn they cannot deal with her or you have extra mana we do have a few ways to protect her and ensure that she stays in play during our opponent's turn so we can get that ability to trigger on our upkeep bringing all of our opponent's creatures back into play right so that's really what we're doing as a main synergy here we have the sergi shelter instant speed for two giving us protection from the color of our choice until the end of turn right it's also the glacier acting as a tapped land if we need we have Valorous Stance also for two at instant speed, choosing one, giving Indestructible to one of our creatures until end of turn, right? If they have Exile, we do Shelter. If they have Destroy or Damage Base, we do Stance to protect her during our opponent's turn, right? So we may want to wait and, you know, chances are if we're doing Meat Hook for three, it costs five. We have the Protector out as four. Um, that's early game and we can risk it for the Biscuits, force our opponent to have removal because you might not want to leave that off for any longer however if you can wait and hold up protection in certain matchups right obviously some matchups you know your opponent has no interaction with you there's no removal they're doing their own thing other matchups you know that there's a ton of removal right and then you're gonna have to try to dance around it so it's gonna depend on the matchups and we'll do our best to kind of showcase those uh, different kind of situations in the gameplay footage today right so um what's not only cool about successfully getting those creatures is now they have decay so we attack with those creatures hopefully more damage goes through and then they self-sacrifice which triggers the meat hook again right whenever a creature you control dies each opponent loses one life which is going to be really cool and that is again one of the main synergies in deck because we play with a ton of tokens here edgar the charmed groom four four other vampires get plus one plus one when it dies return it to the battlefield transformed as the coffin 
at the beginning of your upkeep, create a 1-1 one, one vampire with lifelink and then put a bloodline counter on it. Three counters on the coffin, transform it back into the groom. It never really dies. You can self kill the groom, transforming it into the coffin with the legendary rule, which is really cool. So attack, it's tapped, play another copy. Tapped version goes to the grave as the coffin. More and more value every single turn. Similar to the wedding announcement at the beginning of your end set, put an invitation counter on it. Once there's three counters on it, transform it. Uh, if you've attacked uh, with two or more creatures this turn, draw a card. Otherwise, create that 1-1, one, one, which is really cool. And then once it transforms into the festivities, other creatures get plus one, plus one, which is very, very good for our field state. The Shambling Ghast, when it dies, create a treasure or give minus one, minus one to a target creature, which is nice. We also have the eye twitch when it dies learn and then the deadly dispute to sacrifice those primarily but of course we can always sacrifice those tokens we can always sacrifice treasures later on to draw two cards and create a treasure at instant speed removal for giza with the grasp with the stance you know losing two life destroying target creature here which is really cool and then we have hive of the eye tyrant to clean up our opponent's graveyard uh, of course we normally use removal with the resurrector um, but of course, you know, maybe a planeswalker slips through the crack and we don't want blood on the snow to bring it back. And then we have the sanctiums and the pathways for land consistencies, sideboard, sciences, summoning, exhibition, keeping it simple because we only have one eye twitch, right? So, you know, throwing those creatures in front of the hook is great and the science can help us ramp into something if we're not quite there yet. That's the deck. Those are the strategies. Those are the synergies held within. If you enjoyed, you learned a little something, maybe consider leaving a thumbs up on the video. It really does help support me financially. If you're uh, interested in seeing more content like this, you know, it's pretty high quality, right? You'll have to admit, uh, just hit that subscribe button, right? And I'll be here every single day with a new deck for you. And if you have any comments, concerns, stuff like this, leave them down below in the comments, you guys, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, stay tuned and let's play some matches. Going first, Gast in into a dispute, turn three, Resurrector. Can you really complain? Hopefully we top deck lands and the shelter can remain as that. First strike is annoying. Last turn. Ooh. Unpleasant. Unpleasant, my friend. We just kill that immediately. Don't don't want to deal with it. Sorry. See you later. Really uh, kind of messes up our meat hook. want to keep up this protection for it right so two turns out i don't know i mean the gas is hopefully going to make a treasure here which reduces that i'll take us to four five six so it could be could be this turn right oh well that actually stops that now our protection is more expensive hmm So that's not for another two turns, basically. Yikes. And guaranteed they have exile, so I don't want to just play it and lose it. I mean, we can kill this thing. Ward one. Um, you know, it's shouldn't be a problem. It's hit for two damage, really a problem. Just want the treasure, I guess. Five, six, seven, right? So we have the shelter available. We could even remove if we don't need it, right? If they tap out um, and we don't need that protection, we can grass, but you know, kind of. Here's how that story goes, and that's why we waited. Oh, 
protection from white. All right. Now we do have indestructible if they try that again. It's gonna be weird, man. It's gonna be weird. Six mana, grasp, and stance are available. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna let them have it. I'm gonna let them attack and then I'm gonna kill the other Skyclave. Gotcha! Taking two down to fifteen. That is a uh, acceptable top deck. Let's keep pace. Hit for four. Mm, let's leave it. I, you know, I'm tempted just to immediately deadly dispute Edgar there. But let's see how this kind of folds out. Because I don't mind blocking this either. Alright, like, that's an acceptable trade. Not great. For four. Stack the token. Terrible draw. Land out. And turn. I mean, we can stance something of theirs, right? If it's that big of a threat. Mm, shield guys is alright. 3 2, right? But it gets plus one, plus one, takes it to three. Not quite. We need it to go to four, right? So maybe if they play another creature, we can get it. Ooh. They're liking that double strike quite a bit. Turn. Wow. Let's turn. Not great. Is it for each other? Yeah, so it only actually goes to 4-3. Hmm. Dang, that's really good. It's 8 damage. Do protection from white. It's that flyer. It's that freaking flyer, man. Down to seven. We go up to eight, but then we're dead. We need a nice top deck. will draw us cards hopefully one of those cards helps us and actually um we do go up to nine so we may survive hitting for 10 damage here protection from white you cannot exile me Down to two, and we draw another land. <laughs> nice. Okay, so this is pretty close, right?
I'm gonna destroy my own creature. It doesn't go to exile. We retain the value. It makes those tokens and it comes back. They don't like that tech. Gotcha! <laughs> nice. Going first, I don't mind it. It's a good start, I guess. Superman J in the house. Turn one gas. Turn two hold up removal. Turn three hook. One. If we so choose. And then that treasure would give us a turn four, but we did pull that fourth land, so I don't think we need to, but I will because the professor. Right? I will absolutely hook right now. Land out. We make our treasure. We gain life, deal damage. Edgar's up next with one mana left over. They play a third land, Sciences, drawing another, uh, I would assume a black source, right? For their own hook slash whatever. Gast in play. Land out, Edgar out. Their fourth land. We take the damage if they attack. Don't care. They don't attack. A lantern. Uh oh. I'll pay life until I can't. I'll keep this to discard. Or. We just get. We get down and dirty. Let's go. Let's go. Alright, hit for four. I think that's good. Opens up our attack lanes from here on out. And if we're going to be losing three life a turn, you'll lose more than that. Oh, that's good. We could sacrifice the treasure at some point, right? For now, I'll continue to lose life. I need that mana. I don't need the life. Okay, that's good. They get the exile on it. That's fantastic for them. Really upsetting stuff. We gain one life back, whatever, right? And let's hit for one. We make another token, so it's no big deal. Right of Oblivion on our wedding announcement, I assume. They are getting the upper hand here, slowly. That Right of Oblivion was hot. Oh, that's a good card. We could run that in this deck, actually, if we wanted. But the thing is, it exiles, and that doesn't have good synergy with the Giza. Jizza. We lose our hook. Not the wedding announcement, which is odd to me. Back the treasure. We do get the draw here. Which is really good. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I like that. Kind of keeps us going next turn. We dispute a creature, sack the token. 
Oh, now that is interesting. Okay. Oh no, it's toughness, not its uh, power. Never mind. Right. Stack a token. Draw two cards, make a treasure. Looking for a grasp. To kill the land. 4.35% chance. And we find it, right? No, we don't. It's a good hit. Makes sense to me. Toughness is only three, right? So they do get uh, a good get, as the kids say. And we're down to seven. Here we go. I don't know what we're waiting on here. Uh, a good emote gets them going again, eh? Down to seven. They have three mana. Plus a uh, lantern. Resolve. Back the treasure. These announcements will keep us out of the lantern's way for a while, I think. They're at 14, we're down to 7. If we can get another hook, this would go a lot quicker. It's going to be hard to go quick at this pace, though. Give them a nice. Take our turn. Announcement out. Get roped, HGG. Land out, announcement out. As long as they don't meat hook us. We're not getting a draw, so we don't bother attacking past turn. Great two two twos. Because they could remove like uh, it's hard to say, right? But you know, we're down to seven. We should try to play defensively. Don't think they attack with the Haven. I'm just worried about a meat hook. They have six lands, three cards in hand. It's a path. Not as bad as a meat hook, still not great. And discard the stance. It's a little late. It helps, you know. It's uh, at least it's something, Mac. Gas goes out, and they're two twos thanks to the announcement. And we're going to create uh, an additional set of two twos. Which is great, and then one more set. I'll probably try and take the draw off of those, though. A double draw would be nice. We could sack the Twitch. No, they exile it. We do get the draw, though. Too bad I couldn't instant speed that. So there goes the learn, but we do get a, a really nice card here, right? We sack the gas. They were about to destroy it anyway, so here's a treasure token which we can sacrifice for the lantern. So they want a lantern first. I'm going to sacrifice uh, 
The one festivities. Okay, that's great too. Alright, that's really good. Protection and more draw. Their turn. Um, two land up. Our turn. Dispute a treasure. Create a treasure. Draw two. Good value. There's that pesky rope again. Alright. <laughs> they don't like it. They're not having fun. Or they've got a bad connection. This is helpful. Our turn. The land is annoying. We have the protection though. So I think we just fold out. And we don't take the draw like we wanted to. We need the defenders. So let's just create uh, two more 2-2s. Two and then everything gets pushed up by plus 2, plus 2. Right? So that's fairly good. The lantern's been outpaced, uh, which is nice. Should be no problem from here on out. They could have a blood on the snow. They do have snow land, right? Deadly Dispute. Okay. So we get that with our Resurrector. I'll allow it, right? That's good. And then we're going to be sacking these treasures. If need be. Here comes the protection. They have one more card in hand. It could be another Vanishing Verse. Check from white. Maybe black would have been a better option. I don't think it matters. Sack. This other treasure. Good game. They accept defeat. I for 6, 12, um, 18, 21. Plus we get the 1-1 one, one as a, uh, I guess, 24? Oh no, it's got summoning signal. Big hit, and we do finally get the win. That was a bit of a grind off. On the draw... Turn one, pretty cool. Um, turn two, removal. Turn three, announcement. Turn four, Edgar. It really could be worse. This actually deals with the usher quite nicely. Hopefully there's no hole. Haven out. Could also be a uh, Luminarch Aspirants as we're in standard, right? Um, it's doubtable though, right? I, I don't think they're going to give it to us. They still do. Acceptable. Totally acceptable. Make that treasure. Turn two. Gotcha! Before they can gain protection or anything like that, just take it while we can. Intrepid. That's very good. Let's make sure we get good value, right? It's a 1-1 one, one that can block it, plus we get the enchantment. Ooh, another that they push into. Nice, okay. We take the hit, no blocks. Edgar out, it's our only option. Land out as well. No attacks, make it 2-2. Two, two. Now we're dealing with the, the field state here a little bit better. If they don't have Exile, right? Taking Edgar's, you know, less than ideal. We have backups, but still. You know, don't want to lose tempo of the match. Which, that would drastically take it away from us. Uh, it's okay. Could be worse. Here comes the worst part. Brutal Cathar would be really good for them. 
I don't think they attack. Huh. Interesting. Now this is a strange bank. I'll take that one one, yeah, totally. Have you met my friend Edgar? No attacks, chillin', another uh one one, and then everything gets buffed up by plus one plus one. Another Intrepid. That's their third Intrepid. Whoa. Someone's ready to hit the casino. I mean, we're making three threes, so... That's fine. We can swing in with the life gain and the 5-5, five five, right? I doubt they trade. Seems unlikely. They've got plenty of life to, uh play with here. End turn. We hold up Deadly Dispute if we really need. This enters play as a 3-3, which is unpleasant. Let's let them have it, and we'll cast it end step so they don't get to see what our draws were. Oh, they just take the Edgar. Nice. I'll allow it. Alright, it's a ton of tokens here. Do we even need to kill the gas, or should we just use it to bash through? It's a really hard question to answer. I think we still go for it. We can make that treasure. It's the draw that's really important, right? We can find like single target removal. Another announcement. Uh, da 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 da. Doesn't matter. Oh my gosh. The ultimate BM. Oh, they didn't get to see the next copy, though. We didn't even... You don't even need the meat hook, right? You just bash through. Going first with two land. You know, I wouldn't keep it other than the fact that there's everything we need here. I mean, the stance really super needed, but it's there. And it's good enough. Gambling gas out. Oh, nice. Perfecto. Hit for one. Deadly dispute hits. Or do we wait on it? Abzan. Okay. No, that's... <laughs> we take it. I'm going to take that immediately. Right, we want to be doing chip damage, so any of their life gain is, like, not sticking around, you know what I mean? Wedding announcement out. I hold the treasure. would like this shelter to be not a land, but I think it's probably going to end up that way. Oh, a moon dancer. So freeze. Yikes. You can only meet up for two. No attacks. Another token. 
Um, we do have manual removal, and we can grab their creature if we survive. Right. Four land for our opponent. Four cards in their hand. Oh, that's really good. Yikes. And they have removal. Nice. Our indestructible wouldn't have protected us there. No blocks. Take the damage. Ouch. Land out. Very... Uh, enjoyable situation here. Kill the Moon Dancer. Definitely. I hope they don't have protection. No. Cool beans. And then just like keep stacking these weddings. Take our swing. The draw is fairly valuable to us here. Right? We're out of good stuff. Don't need more copies of the hook. LOL. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Good on them. They're, they're wiling out on us here. They're dropping everything, like in quick successions, and like, you know what? What a tag team combo here, right? Down to six. And that helps. Land out for one. Switch out. We kill the dancer. It's that scry. The scry has to go. No attacks. I mean, that's a good block for them, right? Fist of Angels. Need more removal. We take four here. Or we just stop it. Right, don't take any. We have six mana. You know, we're gaining a fair amount of life here. Take the summoning. Land out. Hook for four. The new hook, I suppose. All right, we make our final token, and our tokens get pushed up. Sorcery, uh, sorry, cleric class is good. Oh no! A little early on our our hook there, right? No attacks, sadly. Very unpleasant card. We need some removal off the top. Right? The, uh... Valorous Stance? Not it. It's not it. All the in hand is a bluff. Another land. Lunar Veteran into the Phantom. Yikes. Oh, that's not good. That is not good. Okay, they put it on the Phantom. We get hit for four. Ooh, down to three, I think we lose. With another land off the top. Ouch. 
too many lands on the dance floor. Going first, um, with a fairly decent hand, right? There's the gas, there's the groom that we can potentially ramp into, and even maybe holding up the protection. That's a nice turn three for us. If we're one. If we lose a gas, I think we go with the groom and just spend our mana as effectively as we can. Flame breather's fine. Wedding announcement in play. No attacks. Make the token. Their third land. Let's see what they do with it. This flame breather is going to deal one damage to us whenever they cast a non-creature spell. So, you know, artifact, enchantment, planeswalker, it all gets the job done. Dealing four damage directly to us for a learn spell. They take the exile on the announcement later on. That's fine. Wing in. They're going to block one. We will dispute the one they block. Take our draw. Mash in. Playing the land. Right? I don't want to be too slow. The land for our turn. Takes us to five. Thermal Alchemist. Very, very good. Take it for one. Down to 15. We are ready to hook as well for life gain. Royal Eruption. Hot Dog. They must have more in hand. Interesting. Well, this creates life gain. Right? So we kind of go there as a priority. Let's hit for one. We also get the draw. Yeah. Let's just keep playing. So do they take Edgar with the XL or do they take the festivities? I I would assume the festivities, but it could go either way. We are down to 11. They do one damage here, take the turn off. Um, they could get a land and a burn spell. No land, but they've got uh, ooh, land from hand. So that's our fifth land. Let's force the exile on the protector. It's also a block. Gast in play. And we swing for, you know, a fair amount here. We can They don't want to lose us. We connect for 7 down to 9. Now, we ourselves are down to nine, and can they deal lethal here? They might be able to, actually. If they don't, we're definitely striking for lethal ourselves. They have the two blocks, um, but even then... Okay, they should put it on the non-defender, I think, but it's okay. I think they might have it. Yeah, they do. That's game. All right, two damage here, two damage there. That's four, we're dead. Nice burn down. All right, the Orzhov Cleaver getting down and dirty. And, uh, you know, I make these jokes sometimes, but... Uh, uh, you, you make your own reality at, at that same time, right? So be careful uh, as to how you commune, lol. But the cleave is within the Resurrector and the Meat Hook. And so this is kind of where I'm curious. Do you guys know of any cards in Standard right now that happens to showcase a massive cleaver?
right? Just like you see here, just like you see here, I want other cards with the cleaver in the comments below, you guys. But let me uh, let me know, and maybe we could improve this deck a little bit, right? We're gonna match some more of these pictures up to really show Mythic what we've got. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Card of the day. Just gonna pull one out at random here. I know I've been slacking on this. Do you guys like when I zoom in on it, or is this a uh, quick view good enough? We've got the Ham Hamlet back Goliath. For seven mana, this is a six six, and whenever another creature enters the battlefield, you may put X plus one plus one counters on the Goliath, where X was that creature's power. So, you know, this is going from a six six to probably a 10 10, stuff like that, really quick. The uh, most unfortunate part is it doesn't organically have trample, so you're gonna have to put trample on that somehow. Uh, yeah. Cheers, have a magical day. Make sure to like the video to support me financially. Subscribe to the channel if you're interested in seeing more content like this on a daily basis. And most importantly, everyone, have a magical day. Take care.